Hello, I'm Brett Trout of blogit.com. You can see it written right there, blogit.com. Um, and it's an intellectual property blog based out of Des Moines, Iowa. I've been blogging since 2003, probably one of the oldest blogs in the Midwest. I blog about intellectual property, patents, trademarks, copyrights, uh, cyber law issues, domain name issues, anything that I see that has relevant legal aspects online. The reason I started blogging was that in my law practice, I see people over and over having the same kind of questions, the same kind of issues, and the same kinds of interests. I actually wrote a book, Cyber Law, that, that covers a lot of the issues, some of the base issues that people have, but the blog is just a more current version of that, hitting all the, the topical areas to say, here's what's happening and here's why people should be aware. I have a big concern that things like net neutrality, people aren't aware of, of the ramifications of that, that Congress can go ahead and say that individual internet service providers can choke off your ability to access certain parts of the internet and it'll basically kill the internet. I know it sounds difficult to believe, but the the causes like that, I think the blog is really where people can get an idea of, of what the problem is and what they can do to address that. Uh, I try to write all the blog pieces in very, very much layman's term, try to add a little bit of a sense of humor to the whole thing, uh, make it very, very readable because a lot of the blogs that I read to get my information from, unless you're an intellectual property lawyer, I think it's a little difficult to process all of the concepts. So I've been doing it for nine years plus and uh, I've enjoyed it quite a bit. It's located at blogit.com, B-L-A-W-G-I-T.com. And I do use, I started off on Blogger and I was on Blogger for a long time. And, and part of the reason I was on Blogger is because I wanted to encourage other lawyers to blog and they were concerned about the cost. And I wanted to show them that they could get a very high search engine ranking, um, very high page rank and a lot of hits just by providing good content rather than spending a lot of money. And, and I think lawyers are really well placed. Uh, they write for a living. They speak for a living. They argue for a living and convince people for a living. Uh, also, one of their biggest things is consulting to advise clients on how to strategize for the best possible outcome. And that's just so uh, such a good fit for blogging that the more lawyer, lawyers are that are blogging, the more, more information that can be transferred. And I think lawyers provide a very important service, and they can they can you know especially when it comes to the high end strategy implementing what your particular facts are to the particular law to get the biggest benefit for the particular client within the confines of the law. I think clients provide a very good, or lawyers provide a very good service and are very well worth the money. The thing is that if you're coming into a lawyer blind, you don't know anything about the law, um, I think using the internet, reading blogs, reading books, I think that'll get you all of that information almost free so that when you do come to the lawyer, they are worth the money. I don't think lawyers are worth the money giving you the background on, on what trademarks are, what the background on what uh, patents are and those kinds of things. So if you can get that legal information online for free and study up, by the time you come in and talk to a lawyer, you'll be able to really leverage that to get the most out of the lawyer. And I mean, most lawyers will come shovel your walk for 400 bucks an hour. It's just a question of how you want to utilize them and coming in prepared helps you do that a lot better. So part of the blog that I have is giving them answers to the questions that I get all the time. So when they come to me, I can answer questions I've never heard before, really give them the benefit of, of my knowledge and then my expertise. And I really feel a lot better when I'm giving them information that I think that's, that's worth the money as opposed to just general information that they could find off the internet. Um, also it's, hits on interesting aspects of the law and, and interesting aspects of where the law is going and why I don't think some of the laws are appropriate and why people should work to change some of those laws. Um, what's my favorite blog? I read so many blogs, you know, and, and basically just take a little bit from each one. Some of the blogs I read are Pat Leo, Dennis Crouch's blog on, on patents. Great blog. Um, it's a little uh, higher end in terms of, of reading comprehension unless you're a patent lawyer. It's probably not as interesting or as comprehensible, but that's one I read. One I really like, danshipton.com. Uh, it's actually danielshipton.com. The reason I like that, there aren't very many posts on it, but the posts are pretty raw and pretty uh, 
pretty forward thinking and they're so related to my particular community that I'm in. I really like to keep an eye on that and read what's going on. What do you think the state of the blogosphere in our region? I really like the way it is because the, it, it has such an real life component to it. It's not just people writing. There's blog Central Iowa Bloggers meeting, there are Twitter meetings. So all the major bloggers in the state of Iowa, at least, and with Highlight Midwest, the bloggers regionally get together and, and share ideas. So having that in real life component makes Midwest blogging, I think, different than blogging anywhere else in the country, and I think it makes it better. And it's just on the on the on the upswing. It's only going to get better and better. Really looking forward to what's going to happen in the next five ten years. Thank you.